There was a close call at the annual hot air balloon fiesta Friday when a balloon came in contact with some high wires at an industrial park near Armstrong. Well, I was just pulling into the yard there, and I had seen the balloon coming down, and uh, and he was getting close to that telephone pole there, and then he just hit the telephone pole and then uh, punctured a hole in it, ripped it open, and then they just slowly came down. I mean, there was a soft landing, mm-hmm. and, and then the balloon, as you see in the pictures, it just draped over the over the power lines there. Oh, there's no word on the cause of the mishap, but officials said the pilot and passengers are uninjured. In fact, the pilot has a second balloon and plans on taking flight again. The balloons launched from a vacant field in the Anderson subdivision, and a Carnival official said it was one of the longest flights the Fiesta has ever had. This is the first mishap the Fiesta has experienced in its 28-year history. Another flight is scheduled for this afternoon, with two on Saturday and one on Sunday. All of the flights are weather dependent as the balloons cannot fly in heavy winds, snow, or rain. For Castanet News, I'm Darren Hanchu in Vernon.